Right, um, good morning, everyone. My name is Mohamed Osman. I'm a third year CDT student. So my presentation topic today is two-level aeroelastic tailoring for composite aircraft wing. Uh, my presentation will cover the following outline, following topic, uh, starting with background and research overview, uh, the methods done, uh, the results, and the future works undertaken so far. So what is aeroelastic tailoring? So aeroelastic tailoring is an approach where the deformations of the wing can be controlled by tailoring the directional stiffness into the structures. So the example of aeroelastic tailored wing can be found on X29 forward swept wings as shown on uh, the figure. So what is the benefit of aeroelastic tailoring? So basically the weight minimization is solely the main objective for aeroelastic tailoring together with the structural and aerodynamic performance as the main constraints. So this can be done using composite wing structures. And for this particular approach, we opt to use the unidirectional composite material to enable more better design control. So the research will focus basically to create, to, to design for a robust multi-level optimization strategy uh, for aeroelastic tailoring of composite wing design. So we opt for two level optimizations. The first level, the aim is to minimize the weight for the wing structure uh, subjected to multiple load cases. And then uh, the constraint for this optimization is the stress, buckling, and aerodynamic and aeroelastic constraint for uh, such as flutter and divergence. And then the result from the first level will be included in the second level optimizations, where here we extend the design space to include parametric uncertainties into the design. So the aim here to create more robust design configuration with uncertainty considerations. So what is uncertainty? Basically, uncertainty is the variability that occur as a result from physical variations, randomness, and also approximation made into the model. Example of uh, uncertainty in composite materials such as ply angle, uh, ply angle error, material properties, and also geometry tolerance. So the aim for second level is to optimize the structure into more robust design configuration with uh, less sensitivity to uncertainty. Uh, for this particular approach, we use polymer cause estimation method. And the parameter, parameter, uh, parameter for uncertainty is the moduli of composite metro itself. So the figure here shows the probability density function plot for critical instability speed. So the green curve here, which is the deterministic optimum of the design, but it includes the uncertainty consideration into the structure. Uh, it's, uh, so the green line, straight line here, is the conventional uh, deterministic design for doing a craft. And then uh, the aim for this approach is to create more robust design optimization by reducing the probability of failure uh, at certain design instability speed. So we obtain uh, the robust as shown by the right curve. Uh, here is the result for first level optimizations, uh, the thickness variations for uh, wing sections across a wing span, so for the skin and for the spa of the wing structures. Uh, this is the convergent plot for the mass of the first level of optimizations. And here is the result for the flutter results. So we use the velocity against dumping plot, which is also known as VG plot. So the, dump, so the flutter point is obtained when the dumping is equals to zero. So in this particular case, the flutter speed is around 380 uh, meter per second. This is the animations for one of the flutter mode obtained. And for second level optimization results, we actually opt for multi-objective optimizations. So we include the response of flutter and also the gas response into the analysis. Uh, the figure here shows the deterministic optimum design for both flutter response and root bending moment response. Uh, sorry, the root bending moment response, uh, well, basically for gas response, we uh, determine it based on the amount of uh, the value of root bending moment. So here is the deterministic design for the uh, for the wing structures. So as I said, uh, as I mentioned before, for flutter response, we try to reduce the probability of failure at certain design flutter speed, 
and we obtain, uh, we obtain more robust design configuration. As we can see here, the probability of failure is, uh, is reduced. And for root bending moments, so we aim to increase the area under the PDF at certain RBM design value so that we can have minimum RBM value for the robust design configurations. So as for future works, we aim to use uh, lamination parameters to evaluate the uncertainty of plant orientations. And we also would like to study the effectiveness of using other polymer cause estimation, uh, sorry, to use other uncertainty contemplation method, such as the Gaussian process emulators, and also to extend the application of this framework for, uh, for using other generic way model. Uh, this work is sponsored by uh, EPSRC and also Embraer. Thank you for listening. I'm happy to take any questions.